I see it now. All right, I can start? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to present myself. I am Paul de la Yera. I'm from Belgium and uh, I'm a mostly a PHP developer and I'm, I'm working for two clients. I am working for a cooperative called Champ Libre in Namur, uh, where we are doing uh, PHP development and uh, geographical uh, and all the stuff related to geographical development using JavaScript and PHP. And I'm also working for the European Commission as a consultant, external consultant. So my weeks are shared between those two clients. Um, two months ago for Champ Libre, I've been asked to create uh, an integration of the WAPI protocol for one of their application, which is open source. And uh, I never heard about the WAPI protocol before. I never heard about Colabra uh, two months ago also. And all of these things are pretty new for me. So I started investigating and um, how I could integrate uh, a document edition within the Symfony framework, which is the PHP framework that we are using, which is also open source and very well widespread. And uh, I discovered many beautiful things. First of all, is this community. This is amazing. Uh, you really gave me some really nice tips and help. So thanks for that. And then I discovered also all the beautiful things that we can do with Colabra within a Symfony application. In order to do that, uh, as we are mostly doing open source projects, um, I created a very standard package, um, which is available uh, on GitHub. Uh, there is no version available yet because this is in this is still in development and um, what, is, what was nice while doing this thing is that I had to analyze and study the WOPI protocol and implement that into the code. But what I really wanted to do is, uh, you know, implementing each endpoint of the WOPI protocol can be sometimes a bit uh, long to do and hard to understand the documentation. What I wanted to do is to provide one service to implement uh, and with a lot of facility to with a lot of facility, meaning that I am going to provide a package that does the heavy lifting of the whole logic of the WOPI protocol and let the user implement only the very basic endpoints that we need. So, but prior to reaching that level of abstraction, I created uh, some kinds of um, very basic interfaces uh, that describes the public behavior of uh, the WOPI protocol. As you can see here, uh, my interface defines a set of methods that needs to be implemented. So check file info, delete file, enumerate ancestor and stuff. All these things are from the WOPI protocol. You might know them, I guess, now. So this package does not provide any implementation at all. It does not provide that. However, it provides a couple of helpers like uh, a proof validator uh, you know that every time the the WOPI client sent a request, it has a proof key and the proof key old that can be used to authenticate the request. This service proof validator will validate the request. Then we have also a kind of abstracted document lock manager service, which is a, a very basic service to lock a document. Everything is standard, so it can be used in Symfony, in uh, in another framework of any type, this is really not tied to Symfony. This is pure PHP. Uh, all of these are covered by test also. And uh, after that, I said, okay, now I want to use that in Symfony. It means that I need to make the glue code between Symfony and this package. And this is when uh, this is when the WAPI bundle enters. The WAPI bundle basically is the gateway between Symfony and the WAPI library. And this provides uh, the routes that the WAPI protocol needs. Every routes are already described in this bundle. And this is actually the, the most boring part. And uh, this is done in a very simple way. For example, the root check file info must be here. Here we can see the variable. And as soon as we get a request on this endpoint, we redirect it, we pass it to this controller, to this method. It must be a get request. 
and the condition is to have the query parameter access token. Then if we don't have that, we pass to the next one. The get file method is this URL. It's also a get request. The condition is to have the access token request. And all of these are built like that. For example, for unlock and relock, this is this URL. It must be a post request. And the condition must be having the query parameter access token, having the, the header header lock, having the header set to uh, having the header override set to the log value and having the header header hold lock. All these variables are actually defined in the previous uh, file that you saw here and I can quickly show it. Yes, I don't have any slide because I really wanted to focus on, on the, the demonstration that I will do in a couple of minutes. All of these uh, constant are defined here. Basically, these are the headers name that the WOPI protocol defines. So this WOPI bundle is making the link between the library and Symfony and also and also it provides a default WOPI implementation. It means that every time a request reaches, for example, the check info file endpoint, it will call this service, WOPI service, and it will call the check file info endpoint. And this is a very abstracted way to use the WOPI protocol because nothing is opinionated here. Uh, the user is able to customize everything. So here we get the document by the file ID, which is passed to the, to the query. Then we get the user identifier, we get the user cache key, and then we build a response based on that. Same goes for the delete file, same goes, same goes for all the rest actually. And the whole uh, logic of the WOPI protocol is in here. For example, um, if we take the lock endpoint, uh, we can check that document has a lock or not here and reply accordingly. If the lock that we get in the request is the same as the current lock of the file, we can refresh the lock or else we return a 409 uh, response, just like the WOPI protocol um, describe it basically. If we pass this condition, we can log the file and return a 200 with the version of the file in the header. So all of these um, logic is completely abstracted in this file. So that every time someone wants to implement the WOPI protocol, it just have to describe one service that says how to write to a file, how to read a file, how to get the size of the file, how to get all these small things. And um, now the demo part, I think this is the most exciting part. All of the things that you see here, I created a very basic uh, Symfony application that is online on this URL, wopi-app.erokuapp.com that you can reach from your computer as well. And um, this, is, uh, the demo, this is the small explanation and you can click here to launch the application. So I'm going to log out, right? I'm logged out, I'm going to click here and I have to log in, of course, with my username. And this is it, I'm logged in. So once you're logged in, um, you have uh, multiple sections here. Uh, the most important one is documents. When you click documents, you can see the available documents that are on this platform. So we have six documents ending with different extensions and we can edit them live. So I'm going to increase the size of my screen and edit the first document. I'm going to edit it. Hello world. And then save the document. Okay, and then come back to the listing. We can see that the document is still locked, but if I refresh the page now, I guess it will be unlocked. Yes. So we can see that the size has changed since we can Check if this has been saved correctly by re-editing the document once again. We can see that, yes, this was saved correctly. Uh, if you want, you can also connect to this document at the same time as me, and we can live edit the document all together. But um, what I wanted to show is that this application that you see here, the WOPI app test application, is a full-blown test application for me to test what I, what I have done. There is a configuration part here where you can uh, change the URL of the WOPI client. So you are aware that there are different clients. We have Collabra, but we have some others as well. 
we can change by just changing this URL here. And you can see here that I am using the free demo EU online.com um, instance uh, to edit the document. I can also check that I can reach it by going to capabilities. This is making a query to that endpoint to see what are the capabilities. I can check the proof keys as well. And a very important part for me is this part. In order to see if what I am doing is fine, I need to check that my endpoints are correctly implemented. And for that, Microsoft is providing a validator for the WOPI protocol. And uh, it, pro it is provided as a Docker uh, machine. And I can run this thing on my local and test uh, on my local environment. So uh, in order to show you that, I'm going to, um, to take this uh, common line where I run the application that you see here online locally. So I can reach this application by going to this URL. If I reach this URL, you can see this is my local machine. I can, uh, I can use this application just like uh, the online one. And I'm going to run the test. So I'm going to show you that everything is correctly implemented, hopefully. So um, let's go. Oh, sorry. And this is it. And now the Docker, oh, we have a 500 issue. Okay, this is completely unexpected. I don't know what is going on, but I have a backup solution. This is my animated GIF here. And you can see that uh, on this GIF, I'm running the same test. And you can see that all the endpoints are, um, are responding correctly. Every green line that you see is a successful uh, test. And there are a couple of tests. There's a lot of tests. And this was actually the most complicated things to, to do to implement the correct logic. So all the tests were passing. Like that, I am sure that what I did is fine. And now I can completely customize the way I read a document, save a document, get the size of a document, get the file name, and so on and so forth. So um, I don't know why I have these issues right now, but it would be a bit of a waste of time to check uh, why I have those issues. However, um, if you are connecting to this WOPI app online, you can see on the bottom, there is a, there is a bar, a black bar here where you can click and see the whole uh, debugging information from Symfony. And you can see all the requests that are done by me here, but also by the WOPI client here. And you can see that those requests are a bit longer because they include usually um, um, an access token here, for example. And this access token basically is uh, generated by the application and it's then serialized and unserialized to get the user and all of these things. And uh, you can check this request. This was an unlock request. And we can see that um, during the unlock request, the, the WAPI host sent uh, some information, the XWAPI override, the XWAPI proof, the XWAPI proof old, and the XWAPI timestamp. And all of these things are uh, taken into account by different layers of package that were created. First WAPI lib, then WAPI bundle, then for this demo that you see here for WOPI app, I created a WOPI test bundle uh, because I needed a way to save the documents. Right now, we are I am using here uh, SQLite database. This is why if you come back in one hour, all the changes that, I'm, that I've done on these documents will be completely gone. Um, and this is, uh, this is it. Maybe I can restart to the demo on the local machine if I still have some time left, I don't know. Let me check if this is working. Let's go. Come on, no. I don't know what happened, but yeah, yeah this so is the demo effect, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So but this is it for me. This is it for me. But any, anyhow, it's, it's really impressive and uh, thanks a lot. And I think Paul is, is, a, is a, you are a very good example of a person that just uh, hanged around in the, in the IRC, in the Telegram, then suddenly started to appear in the, in the community meetings. And now we have some nice stuff to show. So, but it's... Yeah, I think it's very easy now for anyone uh, who's using Symfony to, to, use, uh, to use that and to, to use Collabra online and to make a very nice integration. What I am doing here is just the bare bones of something that could be much greater, but um, 
we are doing the best things in the in the other application that we are creating but here is just for me to test that everything which is done in open source for the WOPI protocol is valid this is what matters actually yeah that definitely it's really cool and i think we, we will have more time even if you want to show again in the q a uh, and yeah, now yeah i don't know what is happening i need to check uh, most probably uh, most probably did a, did a mistake i don't know